Oh, wait, Stephen would tell us. Chuck, you're live. Oh, live? Okay. Welcome to the Hampton Beach Village District Monthly Meeting. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. Can we stand for the pledge? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So Maureen is excused tonight. She had some other business to take care of. Uh, we don't have a lot on the agenda, so it should be a pretty quick meeting. Um, first of all, I wanted to go over the dates for our annual meeting. Our annual meeting will be March 24th. And you can vote from 1 till... 6.59, and then the, the public the meeting will be directly after that for all residents of the Hampton Beach Village District. Anybody else is welcome to come and listen, and we also allow input. So uh, we welcome anybody to come. That will be here at the Hampton Beach Fire Station. That meeting starts at 7 p.m. on the dock. There is a there is five positions open that uh, you can file to become a candidate. There's a commissioner position with a three-year term, a supervisor of the checklist with a three-year term, clerk for one year, treasurer for one year, and moderator for one year. And the filing period for that is February 8th to the 17th. The person to contact is Janet Allard. Did I say it right, Janet? It's fine. And her phone number is 603-929-1170. So, like I said, that's from February 8th to the 17th. The last date to accept warrant art voter warrant articles is February 21st. The last date for us to post the warrant is March 9th. That'll be posted at BZ on the corner, Lighthouse Market, and the town offices, as well as we post it here at Fire Station. And it'll also be on our website, HamptonBeach.org. The last day to accept absentee ballots is March 24th, as long as we receive them by 5 p.m. on the 24th of March, so the day of the meeting. That's right. Yeah. Well, one, just one comment on that. Yeah. Yes, it's the last day to accept absentee ballots. If you want an absentee ballot, contact Janet Allard. Okay. Get the ballot, but it has to be back for at our meeting that night by 5 p.m. Okay. So the, the ballot has to be back by... 5 p.m. on the 24th. Again, to get a ballot, contact Janet. All right. Everything else will be uh, posted on the website, hamptonbeach.org. Or if you have any questions, just give Janet a call or myself, 603-926-3364. Perfect. Okay, so... Yes. Yeah, uh, just a point of clarification. For number four, is there a time period that we should let them know? Time period. No, 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 no. No, number four. It'll Check. be posted. It'll be posted. Okay. Should I write it down? Or? Yeah, it'd be 7 to 7.30 on the... Uh, uh, as just like the other one? 7 p.m. to 7.30? Yeah, and the other one's noon to uh, 12.30. Noon to what? I don't see that one. That, that'll be the Saturday, the second one we post. We haven't posted them yet. But that'll be posted in the papers. Okay. And, and put up. Okay. But so, and next month, uh, Richard is going to go over okay. the election process and all the different uh, okay. dates and times. Great. Right. All right. I'll just make one other comment on that. You have to be registered in the district to vote, even though you're registered in the town separately. Excellent. Uh, 
register. And when you vote as well, right? Yeah. All right, excellent. Okay, so um, I'm going to go right to old business, and um, I think uh, we had a very successful New Year's Eve. As far as I know, the Blue Ocean Society, we had 400 and 418 people. And there's a few people I want to thank. This year we had um, entertainment on the stage. And um, Michael Lynch was did the, um, the, he was the DJ. And he donated half his fee back to the Hampton Beach Village District. So we want to thank him for that. We also want to thank Blue Ocean Society for opening up and um, serving cookies and hot chocolate and coffee. And the cookies, hot chocolate, and coffee were donated by Alex, Todd, and Jean Lousseau of Harris Real Estate and Kennedy and Lousseau Real Estate. So we want to thank them. They were a great asset. Uh, and I just think the whole team effort that was there, everybody did a great job. I know I was on the phone uh, with Iris Fireworks, and I was on the phone with John and John, uh, John Kane. I want to thank him, as always. He made sure everything was running great. We want to thank the Hampton Fire, the Hampton Police for just making it a great event, and everybody else that did things, thank you very much. And the Division of Parks was so interesting. Oh, and that's right, the Mary Division Ann. of Park. Yeah, Mary Ann but did a great job, yeah. So. I think Glenn adding a couple of chimeneas added a nice ambiance to the stage that night. It was an experiment. I don't know how effective they were in keeping people warm, but there were people using them. If we had today's weather, they would have all been in bathing suits for crying out loud. So <laughs> the beach was packed today. Everybody was walking. Out there tonight, the moon is huge. Yeah, it's nice. Check this. We should thank Brian Wilson and his crew. During the day, they threw down so much salt, and they picked up all the ice so that no one would slip. You know, as they walked. And, and I got to give Brian Wilson and, and all the the state of New Hampshire. They have been all winter. Have just been out there. I saw them today. They were cleaning up the sidewalks. Yeah. Uh, they've done a great job. I mean, there isn't a lot of people here in the winter, but the people that are here, I think, really appreciate it. So, yes. if you see them, thank them because they're doing a great job. Yeah. We'll try for I don't know how many years to see what we can do about getting the boardwalk maintained because there's really walking in the street is very difficult wet in the winter, and um, they, I think it's terrific because we tried, tried for years to get that opened up. It makes a big difference when it people does. come coming down and walking, and people just live in here. Now people you can walk back and forth. There is a lot more people here than there used to be in the winter, which is, but there's people that, I, I talk to people all the time that, oh, we just go down, walk around, and, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of sad that there's not much open, but... If there was, I don't know if they'd be busy enough for some of the people, but, you know, a couple of, you know, Wally's is open, BZ on the corner is open, Royal Market's open, Ashworth is open some of the days, right? Yeah. Coffee Break is open. Coffee Break is open, the Jumping casino. Jacks. The casino. Oh, and the casino was here, yeah, and they, they seem to be getting more and more people, yeah, so that's great. Right. Right and I hear, I hear their, their, uh, their food is very good there, so I haven't, I haven't eaten there, but I've heard good things about it, so. Am I forgetting anyone? Oh, Stacy Jane's is open. Uh, Lighthouse Market. So there is some things that are open. So. Yeah. Oh, and Ocean Walk is year round. So. They're all packed. Um, so it's good. Yeah, so it's good. So more and more things are happening. All right. Bob, do you have any other old business? No, other than all the old business because of January now becomes new business. Mm -hmm. To do the old business all over again. <laughs> <laughs> what's old is new and what's new is old that's right all right just make sure we got it right so we need a date and unfortunately maureen isn't here to work on our budget um what we do at the village is we we have our budget guidelines and we're very fortunate our treasurer steve labranch um, puts it all nice and simple for us and uh we'll have a little session a work session here in the afternoon and we do things a little different. It's very informal, and people are welcome to, to join us if they want to come in and listen to what we're doing. We we'll go over everything. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, 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 of January. Mm -hmm. So I, I would think that 
maybe the 25th in the afternoon. Is that good with you guys? And then if then we can change it if it's January 25th. Yeah. Okay. So maybe at 12:30. Does that? January 25th, 12:30. Okay. In this room. Budget workshop. It's a Wednesday. Do you have fireworks now? I think I'm just guessing. Not at 12.30. There's fireworks at the selectmen's meeting. Fireworks show's already. Oh, I don't know about that. It's closer to over than it's ever been before. Chuck, you'll have to, once we've... Once we've worked in that budget, yeah. you're going to have to coordinate with the budget <laughs> committee. Remember how we have to right, do that? and then we'll uh, we'll we'll get that done, and well, it'll be posted. So right now, tentatively, we are <coughs> January twenty fifth, twelve thirty in the afternoon in this room. You need to post that, Chuck. Yeah. <coughs> it's a work session, but we post it anyway, so I, I'll make sure it's posted. And it's quick, it's easy, and we should be done by two, hopefully. Hopefully. So anybody's welcome if they want to come and talk to about us the budget. It'll be similar to last year's budget. And uh, I don't see anything major. So. No, but, but I noticed last date to post warrant is March 9th. So that means that we have to have gone before the budget committee before then to have that MS-37 uh, signed by them. All right. So uh, precinct, as I understand it, is scheduled by the Budget Committee for February. Sometime in February, yeah. right. But I don't know the date. I don't either. I think it's the 21st. It's according to that schedule that we've been getting. Oh, OK. And that's the last date to accept war on, a vote of war on article, so at the same time. So. And that's supposed to be the date that the budget committee reviews the precinct budget. Right. Okay. Thank you, Regina. Okay. Right. So can we? We'll clarify that tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Good. Yep. All right. So, new business. Any other new business, Bob? Well, <clears throat> we're approaching the uh, season of voting, and there are a number of significant economic impact, impact warrant articles that will be on the voting ballot. So I would make an open invitation to any member of the town, or DPW, fire, police, library, or school that might want to come to our February meeting merely to explain the reason they're promoting their money warrant articles. And if there is interest, just let us know and we'll give you a little bit of free time to promote your position. Also, from a, the district really has a serious dog in the fight of one of those Warren articles concerning the replacement of the sewer line from the Church Street pump station to the water waste treatment plant. Uh, and I would urge everybody to pay attention to that article in particular as it's, it could have significant impact on the town as a whole, depending on how it plays out. It's a little bit like going to your doctor when you have a symptom before the symptom has become fatal, but you are aware of it. So the argument is, at what point in time should you address that issue? We've already spent a considerable period of, of amount of money to replace the section of the pipe that was leaking last year. We've got a, a, a risk that um, EPA will not be as tolerant of the second week as they would have been of the first week, because now we are aware there's an issue. Some would argue you put it off a little longer, but look what happens when you put it off. The cost of the project becomes greater. If there's a second leak, the temporary repair of that leak adds an additional significant cost. If the leak happens during the summer season, there's a significant risk that you could lose the beach if they had to shut off the source of removing the waste product from the beach through that pipe system. That would not be very appealing and would be, do a great disservice to the community as a whole not just to the beach, 
because if in any way you lose the beach, you lose the town effectively, economically. Uh, and all kinds of negative things would flow. So I would ask everybody to seriously consider voting for that particular Warren article as it's critically important for all of us. And all of us in the town have a dog in that fight. Yes. I 100% totally agree with everything that uh, Commissioner Lett has said. And I will, if the commissioners deem it so, I will personally uh, invite or be a friend, the town manager, all department heads, whoever you would like to be at the meeting next month so that they can do. They did a short presentation again at the selectmen meeting on Monday night if they would like to do something similar here so that it could be. I think the more times it is viewed, the better. Mm -hmm. And because we do, we have the wastewater pipe down on, under the marsh to deal with, and we also have the one in town that has, in my mind, been pushed off long enough. And I think that 2017 should be the year that we focus on the town's infrastructure to ensure that the sustainability of Hampton is there for future generations. Well, I'd be all for as many of them as would right, be willing. Me too. Yeah. So I'll work on that tomorrow. Yeah, the more information that gets out there, right, the exactly. better it is. And I, and last year we had uh, the superintendent from the school come and, and explain um, the addition on the academy. So she's welcome to come back again too. So we'll get in touch with her and uh, see what changes they made and if there's any. I'm not quite sure what they came up with. All right, so should we wait to approve the minutes to Maureen's here? Yeah, she was present for that, that meeting. So we'll wait on that approval minutes. So public comments. Do we have anybody that wants to speak? Yes. John Kane. Happy New Year to all. Thank you. It's great. Um, Chuck already alluded. Uh, again, thank everyone for a wonderful uh, New Year's Eve, from the fireworks people to the, the kids and the adults that came down to enjoy it. Um, 2017, we still have a lot of things coming up, and I thought I'd just take a couple minutes to uh, explain uh, uh, what we've got in the near future. Uh, February 4th, the ever-popular Penguin Plunge, major uh, money fundraiser for Special Olympics in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, February 4th will be the high school, and that will be their fifth plunge. And the big one will be um, the, um, the, I mean, the, the fifth will be the big plunge. Uh, and last year, I think they raised close to a half million dollars. So um, it's a major money raising um, uh, fundraiser for Special Olympics, and I uh, hope everyone participates. Uh, a couple of quick things I'm just going to go down. March 5th, uh, half of Hampton. It's a half marathon in the town of Hampton, um, off-season, and attracts a lot of runners to the beach. Again, some of these people have never been to Hampton Beach, so it's a great way for us to introduce, you know, Hampton Beach. And they have a tendency to come back, and that's what I like. Um, on the 26th, we also have what is called border-to-border -border race. It doesn't affect Hampton too much, but it does end up down here, and that is going from uh, Massachusetts, I mean, Maine's border all the way down to Massachusetts. So that happens off-season, brings a little bit of activity, starts out our season. That's um, March 26th? That's March 26th, yeah. Checked. I don't know if you're open by then, but who knows. Um, the other popular tow rodeo associations coming back. I already talked to Renee. He's all psyched. He's happy. Here's another organization that really loves Hampton Beach. What's their date? That is going to be May um, the 20th and 21st. 21st, the parade starts at 10 a.m. and everyone on the beach wakes up. And all little kids. <laughs> never like, started at 10. It's always been earlier. Oh, than I, that. I know. It's I know. much earlier than that. <laughs> You'll be up. <laughs> Um, something that we've, we're, again, we're going to have again this year is the Winnicott Prom March uh, on the Seashell Stage at 5.30. That's May 20th. If you haven't seen it, you know, you're part of the town. These are our kids. And it's just, it's a great thing to just go out and watch and, and see who they are and uh, our next generation you coming You can see through. it from the Purple Urchin, too, which is kind of nice. Yes, you can. And, um, <laughs> what day did you say that was, John? That is May 20th. 
Same as the Toe Show weekend. Uh, yep. Same uh, weekend. The um, the other thing that we're going to be having um, will be Kites for Cancer. Uh, Exeter Hospital puts us on. This has been growing every year. Uh, Carrie Shaw puts it on over at uh, Exeter Hospital. And I've been working with her, and she's just ecstatic for Hampton Beach because it just grows and grows. She had a couple tables. <laughs> now she's got a whole event going on. And, and What's the date of that one? And that is the um, Kites for Cancer will be May 21st. It'll be a busy, a busy weekend. weekend. Um, the brain injury walk is coming back. Uh, they usually do it in the fall, but they haven't had good luck in the fall, so they've changed it to June 4th. Uh, very worthwhile. I mean, every time I see them, I just thank God it's it's not me, and you know, it's it's a it's a great organization backed by a lot of dedicated people for unfortunate people. So, again, that will be happening. Um, right, June 3rd, the Blue Ocean Run for a Clean Ocean. Okay, have you? Okay, has all of this stuff's been been on date with the state. This is what the state has. Okay. Okay, they don't have that one. Just to let you know. Thank you. Um, please double check. Sand competition is is coming back the fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and uh, that whole event, that's all on on we're always gonna have that. Uh, beach wrestling's coming back again. They're really ex excited. I talked to the um, the high school and uh, they're happy to be doing that that's going to be july 30th uh you've heard me talk about how much i like that organization children's week 14th to the 19th um hampton talent again uh, very successful will be the 25th 26th 27th glenn got that right uh August 25th, yeah, yeah. 25, 26, yeah. 27. And then the Seafood Festival will be uh, September 8th, 9th, and 10th. Again, uh, we don't close out the beach uh, for a while. Reach the Beach, another enormous um, activity, will be the 15th and 16th of September. Um, the Grand State Wheelmen are coming back. And Smutty No Rock, uh, Rock Fest, October 1st, is also coming back. So. We got a lot of things going on down here at Hampton Beach, and there's actually a few things that I haven't put on the list because um, they haven't firmed it, firmed it up with the state. Um, and once they do, then we put it on our list. But going forward, it looks like we're going to have another busy season. Hopefully, everything's going to be great. And, and, um, right? Well, uh, the tourists will love us again. Yes. Sir. Sure. What is the status of the Vietnam Memorial Wall? Is there anything transpired with that? Is it still up in the air? Or? I, and from talking to Uda, I, as last I heard, is the um, the organization doesn't seem to be very organized. So I don't. I think that money is going to end up just going back into our budget. Well, that's right. We do have money in the budget. Not, any, no, the not any longer. Not any longer. Not so. any longer. As of de de uh, June, yeah, December thirty first, um, it 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 goes back into the budget. It's gone. Can't encumber it. Right? Uh, we did the, the for the year before. Oh, we already did before. for one year, right, so but it wasn't. Yeah, and so it's it's run out. You can only do that for one year. So now the money. That money going. that money goes back into uh, our budget. Right. So we could probably use that to offset something this year. That money, um, I took five thousand dollars and opened a savings account because it didn't want it commingled it because you had encumbered it. So now I'll go and close the account and the money will go back into the general account, right? And it will it'll go to reducing taxes and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't, there a, talk to Uda. Yeah. wasn't there a town yeah. warrant too? She was supposed to be his Yeah, well we can't now because it's past the thirty first. So if oh. if we need to use it again we'll have to have another warrant article on it. Excuse me, wasn't there a town warrant article last year, too, to fund part of that? That was the year before. That was the year before. That was the year before. And before. it failed. Yeah. Yeah, it so that's pass. probably gone, too, right? No, well, that never passed. Yeah. Mr. Peter. Oh, it never passed the town. Right. It was just us that we're, we're going to fight. Right. All right. Glenn, right. right. when will you have uh, a, a schedule? So are we looking at March, April for bands? I already have people asking about bands. First show is the first Saturday in, um, not in May. May. That will be the reminiscence. 
But when will you have a pretty, pretty I'm about 80% complete thing? Already. There you are. All right. So can we get a copy of that something in March, maybe? Oh, easy. Yeah. All right. All right. As it stands right now, there might still be a couple of dates floating. Yeah, because so, yeah. until that, until John prints that uh, um, poster, you're okay. <laughs> but if, even then. I mean, there's always this there's stuff always this happens, yeah. yeah they, but we've been pretty good. Once we get it down, it's been pretty good. And, and uh, out of eighty or ninety, you're gonna have, someone's gonna die or someone's gonna have a wedding or whatever. And Glenn and I just go, okay, switch Joey to here and get, you know Susie up to here. Yeah, we get the we get the one online. Yeah. Up yeah. To date and yeah. We, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're. I am probably. I am much further ahead this year than I have ever been. Right. Oh, Jack Knox is in the thing. <laughs> is it possible that you and John could give us your contact information for the record for the file? Oh, no. We don't that. <laughs> Would you like a check? <laughs> <laughs> We've already got most of it anyway. All right. Are you worried I'm going to die? Well, we just would like to know who to contact if we had to contact him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't go anywhere. Until <laughs> oh. so you finish that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other public comment? Hearing none, we're going to go right to closing comments. This is going to be a quick meeting. Closing comments. Well, just tomorrow night, there will be a budget meeting at the academy at 7 p.m. to go over the town budget for the year and all people are welcome to attend that meeting and it's my understanding that the selectmen are also contemporaneously going to have a meeting at the same time yes. in the same place so any member of the public <laughs> interested in th that process is welcome to come they wear a, v a vest or anything <laughs> <laughs> We, we need a bigger auditor. <laughs> All right. Well, I, 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 one of the one of the organizations in the town of Hampton uh, that gets overlooked a lot is uh, Channel Twenty Two, and I got to give them a lot of credit. They put up with a lot of meetings, and the guys, all of them, uh, do a great job. So I want to thank Channel Twenty Two for all the hard work they do and having to listen to some of our stuff that they probably don't want to listen to, but they're, they're here and they do a great job. And other than that, I hope that our budget meeting, if you have any questions, if you can make that meeting that we have, not that the, the workshop, I should say, um, if you can make that great. If you can't and you have any questions or you have any input, please get it to myself, Bob, or Maureen, and we will gladly address it. So on that, we're going to adjourn this meeting at 5.57. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.